Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. So today I wanted to do this kind of Hollywood makeup hack, I guess. It was an old Hollywood, uh, maybe even longer than that, honestly, um, trick that Marilyn Monroe is known for using. And that is to use Vaseline as a makeup base. So the thing is, is that back then they actually wore this pancake makeup is what it was called. It was just a lot thicker. It's like paint basically. And obviously our foundations are not like that anymore. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work. And I'm nervous because I actually use Vaseline to remove my makeup. So to do it this way is kind of scary, but we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. So I already went ahead and I moisturized. I just used this e.l.f. Super Hydrate Moisturizer. This stuff is pretty good and I figured it'd be good to use first to moisturize and then apply Vaseline to kind of seal it in. I'm really nervous about this. I have an idea for some videos coming up and I also think it'd be fun to do more of these kind of like old makeup type of videos. So I'm just gonna take a little bit. I don't know how much to take. So I'm gonna take that much. I don't know because like I don't want it to be too much but I don't want it to be too little to not do anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and warm this up in my hands for a minute. I'm gonna apply some to my nose and I'm thinking that if this does work, although I'm just confused because I I, I think you're supposed to like press it in like this. So I just warmed it up into my hands. You can see they're very shiny and I'm just gonna apply this. I'm really gonna get under my under eyes as well. But um I use this to take off my makeup, so I don't know. I feel like this might be a bad thing. Like, I don't know how this works under the base, but this is definitely, I have super dry skin, by the way. So my skin is very, very dry. So I'm hoping if this works, my foundation looks absolutely amazing. And I'm just gonna apply it over my eyelids too, I guess. But I hope it looks amazing because I feel like normally my makeup doesn't look that great. So this is what we are looking like now. As you can see, I am a bit shiny and I feel it, but I don't know, like, I don't know. I feel like this is so <laughs> difficult to say. I'm just gonna rub the excess into my hands, but I feel like this is difficult to say because like, what if I use too much and then that's why it breaks up? What if I don't use enough and it doesn't do anything? Like, I don't know. <laughs> so I actually wanna look up close into a mirror and see. I feel like I definitely didn't use too much. So I'm just hoping that we used enough to begin with. So I guess I'm gonna go ahead. I want to try two different things. So first of all, I'm just gonna go in with a sponge. I think that'll go better with this. And I just wanna try a foundation and a CC cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and on one side of my face, I'm gonna go in with the number one, number 21 Perfect Cover BB Cream by Misha. I got this off Amazon. And then this Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. So I think we're gonna do it like this. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead, brush my hair back a little bit. So on this side of my face, we're gonna go in with the BB cream. So I'm just gonna take a dot of that and go ahead. It's gonna be hard to do on my nose for sure. And I feel like as with any situation, this might look good at first, but then maybe we need to go in, um, you know, maybe I'll have to do a checkup later on to do kind of like a wear test to see how that's going. So I'm just gonna move some of my hair away. So this is a BB cream, so it is light coverage. It does have some coverage for sure, but it's definitely on the lighter side. I have a scar right here that it doesn't quite cover. Oh, wow. Okay, so with the ring light, it is very, very glowy. And don't get me wrong, it's glowy in person, but I think it looks really good actually. I think like in person, it's completely flawless. I'll try to come up a little bit closer, but it's completely flawless here. Like it literally looks like my skin, but better. It looks really, really good. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see that. So this is what I look like with no foundation. This is what I look like with it. And that was just, again, a BB cream, actually not a foundation. So this is really light coverage. So now I just want to try some of the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth and we're just gonna apply some of that and these are like kind of two different shades the other one is a lot more neutral so I'm hoping that <laughs> I don't look like I'm wearing two different foundations today but I just really wanted to know those are like my two that I've been using so I just wanted to test them when I know what they usually look like and you can even go back and watch like some of my other makeup videos where you can see me wearing these and yeah I definitely don't think it looks this good typically. Wow, so I'm shocked. Okay, I don't see any breaking up. It literally looks like my skin, but 
super healthy and glowy. And in person, I don't think I'm quite as dewy. But I also, we might powder it to see, because I'm sure if you do this, a lot of people do powder, so. I think we probably should go ahead and do that as well. So I'm just picking up some of this with my finger. We'll see how this looks. Okay, so I think you can kind of tell that this side has a bit more coverage compared to there, but honestly not too bad actually. So, oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Like actually, I feel like my makeup has never looked this good. I've been really struggling because of my dry skin. No matter what moisturizer, like I don't know what it was, but this looks so amazing. It really genuinely looks like my skin, except completely flawless. <laughs> wow, okay. So this is gorgeous. I am kind of scared to powder, to be honest, because it just looks so good. I don't want to mess it up. So I'm going to go in with, I don't have any concealer, so I'm just going to go in with a little bit of that CC cream. And we're going to go underneath my eyes using this little sponge just to add a little bit more coverage under there. And I'm assuming, honestly, that this is buildable just like regular. I'm wondering if maybe... The Vaseline kind of made the foundation a little bit less coverage than it normally would be. Um, I'm not completely sure, but it just looks so, so good. I'm curious what this is like on oily skin because it is very dewy. But what I do notice is I usually, my biggest issue is the nose area. I feel like I look completely blurred right now. Like this looks so good. But yeah, so normally the nose area breaks up really bad and looks really dry and I feel like it's not doing that which is amazing <laughs> I haven't seen my skin like that in so long so now I'm just gonna take the excess that's on my hand and just run this down my neck I can't believe how good this looks I'm really curious if I powder if it's gonna look bad okay so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna I feel like my under eyes are creasing less than they usually do as well which is really nice so i'm just tapping under there and i'm just gonna take a fluffy brush it's just a little tiny fluffy brush and we're gonna go into the maybelline fit me loose powder and i'm just gonna take this right under the eyes and also on my eyelid because i did apply some of that there and then i always add a little bit in the crease of my nose right here oh my goodness it looks flawless i think i might have to start doing this every day to be honest um, I don't typically wear makeup for that long just to really record a video and that's it for the most part. And then I'm going to go ahead and I always, I crease really bad right here. So I'm just going to powder. Okay. So even with powder, it's looking really, really good actually. <laughs> I'm so surprised. So now I just, I want to go in with a cream blush over this because it just looks so good. So I'm going in with the e.l.f. palette. This is the cream blush palette in soft and as you can see I use the heck out of this so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this shade and then I usually mix in a bit of pink and I'm just gonna add some of that I'm curious how good this looks because this always looks pretty good but I feel like with this glowy base it's just gonna look amazing it looks so flawless okay so I just applied the blush I'm gonna dim I'm gonna go ahead and dim the lights a little bit so you can kind of see it a little bit I feel like you can definitely see it on this side but <laughs> I applied some to my nose and normally that really breaks up, but it actually looks super, super smooth and flawless. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead, go off camera. I'm going to finish my full face of makeup and then we'll recoup. So I just went ahead and did my makeup. I powdered my whole face very, very lightly, did a little bit of lip gloss, and then I did put a little bit of brown eyeshadow just to see if it's going to crease or anything, and then just lashes and mascara. And... Even after powder, um, yeah, it looks really, really good. You can definitely, now that there's powder, you can kind of tell that I'm definitely wearing a light foundation, but it still looks super, super good. My nose looks really, really good. Yeah, like, okay, so <laughs> that's the makeup. I'm going to go ahead and, I don't know, I'm hoping this comes out really good because if it does, I'm going to be doing this forever, for sure and i'm really really excited so i'll check in with you guys in a few hours okay so it is about let's see it's been about 
seven hours since I applied this makeup and as you can see I have the typical little smudging underneath my eyes. I get that all the time and this lash is coming off. I'm about to take this makeup off but the skin looks really good and like as you can see there's a little bit of breaking up around my piercings but I always get that. So yeah this looks super super good. I'm actually I'm gonna start doing this every single day that I wear makeup because it looks so, so good. Normally my nose is really torn up and yeah, like overall it just looks so smooth and my forehead especially looks really, really smooth as you can see there. It just, it looks so good compared to my normal routine of like using a regular primer. So I can definitely see why this is an old Hollywood secret. It looks so good. So I highly recommend if you guys haven't tried this to go ahead and test it out. And even if you have oily skin, I honestly, I would recommend it. I think you should try it because it's it's just worth it. Like just use a little dime sized amount. Do what I did and warm it up in your hands first and then like press it in tapping. I love it. So let me know if you want to see maybe more Hollywood secrets makeup videos or I don't know, maybe just like trying out little makeup hacks would be really cool so if you like this video go ahead and leave me a like comment and subscribe make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next video bye guys